and that's pretty much it. If you guys want to start pouring in the mineral oil. What are some applications that might be used for those kind of um, parameters? Anything to do with sound, uh, a home sound person that does uh, music or something would probably want something like this because it runs silent, there's no fans, you won't catch anything on the microphones. Uh, At overclocking gamer? Oh yeah, uh, gamers uh, for maximum graphic us usage and uh, speed so they don't get as much latency or uh, between clicks. And uh, yeah, that's about, that's about it. it. So why don't we power it up before we pour the oil in? and just show that it, it can work? It'll be working on this monitor. Um, we hope. Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> it doesn't work already. We don't even need the oil. We hope. Yeah, it worked just a half hour ago. It says error. Let's go ahead and hit uh, F2. Is the, uh, the keyboard connected? Yeah. Okay. Hit, uh, oh no, that's for recovery. Now, obviously, we have not put oil in this yet, so it blows and we've never done this before. Right, we don't know what it's going to do. So we're kind of hoping. That's why it's an experiment. That's right. I'd say go ahead and start. Whoa, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> that was Eric's uh, contribution. I'd say um, pour it in that corner up towards the front. Don't let it splash, yeah, just, just yeah. Is it still running? Yeah. So far, so good. <laughs> stand, uh, just stand behind the visible glass back there. These are one gallon jugs of, of um, medical grade mineral oil, which means that they can be ingested, mainly for animals. And we can have a drink later. We've got uh, about uh, four gallons left, as a matter of fact. It just kind of goes against my grain to see liquid filling up a power supply. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what everybody else is thinking. That's like, yeah, wow. And the fans are still running. The fans are still running. Uh, there's no damage to the fans. It'll constantly run at the same speed from a, a year from now as it did today. Uh, every year, it, the oil needs to be changed because it starts turning a brown color. This ugly yellow brown. It's recommended to change the oil. Yeah. yeah. We take it to the Toyota dealership. <laughs> John, we're probably going to have to open another box. Do you have your sticker handy? Just in case. So the test is whether or not we still have the picture on the... Right. About getting an electrifying Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, So far, so good. I think if it hasn't shorted yet, I think we're good. Yep. Now, the, the hard drive and the optical drive can't be submerged because they're optical. Right. So they're mounted on the back with Velcro. Neither can the speaker. Yeah.
Yep. The fans will push the oil around so it won't sit. Uh, the oil won't sit in a hot spot. It will constantly move um, around. So it's always pushing away. I think one more. One, one and a half. One and a half. Probably, yeah. What Rick has in probably half a bottle. That. Um, Rick, you're you're pushing those um, but rocks around at the bottom. Do it more towards the front, front corner. There you go. I just didn't want some rocks uh, splashing up and hitting the fan and pushing them into the motherboard. And we have bubbles down there, but they won't be working today because we don't have the tube yet. Yeah. So we'll, be sticking my hand we'll have Josh stick his hand down to connect the bubbles up. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to go to the top of that connector or the bottom of that connector. Yeah. I think we have success, guys. Yeah, that looks good. good. Touch the mineral oil without getting shocked, they take it.